Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to do a couple of code examples using the while true loop. So first of all what you need to do is import time here. We'll be using that a little bit later on. So I'm going to create a variable called counter and I'm going to assign it to zero. Then I'm going to do the part of the loop that we're uh, focusing on while true. And we're going to print out a message to the user and we're going to use f string and simply tell them counting. And then we're going to interpolate uh, the counter into here. Right, the next line we're going to say counter is equal to counter plus one. So we're going to increment this count by one. Now we come on to the conditional to evaluate it. If counter is greater than or equal to 10, we're going to do something. We're going to break out of the loop simply with break. Okay, so let's uh, test that out, shall we? Basically, let's call it while true loop. Let's push it down there a little bit, make it look a little bit neater. As far back as it'll go. Yeah, that's as far back as it'll go. Okay, let's just uh, run that. And there you go it starts counting from zero here and right up to nine so if it's uh, greater than or equal to so it goes zero one two three if you want it to go up to ten you just simply do this let's run it again okay so it's counted bang up to ten there okay so that's the first example let's go on to the second example here and again it's going to be while true I'm going to create a variable called name we're going to assign it to input and then we're going to tell the user what to do uh, enter name or quit so the user just has to either em enter his or her name or quit right so what we're going to do we're going to evaluate that with the if so if name I'm going to use dot lower here which will convert everything to lowercase so if the name is equal to let's say quit we're going to do something we're going to simply break out of the loop like that break or else we're going to simply print actually we'll interpolate this we're simply going to print hello name right okay so what we do is we just uh, run that Just uh, make that look a little bit bigger. Enter name. Okay, Dave. Okay, we're still in the loop now. Not Dave, let's give it a different name. Sid. Bill. Okay, so I want to break out of this loop, so I simply type in quit. Hit enter, and I've broken out of the loop. Okay, we're going, coming on to the final example now, which is basically an infinite loop with a little bit of a twist. You'll see the twist in a minute. So while true, we're going to create a scalar variable called start. We're going to assign that to input. Uh, we'll just tell the user it hit enter to start 
So all the user has to do is hit enter to start there. And then we're going to print a message. Print waiting two seconds. And then infinite loop. Let's build it to the cat. <laughs> Here. Okay, then we're going to do time dot sleep. All right, Felix. I don't know what you want. I think he's after getting his leg over or something like that. He's a little bit on the horny side today, is Felix the cat. Anyway, never mind about that, I digress. So, not waiting two seconds, we're going to make it wait one second. Let's have a look, so that's one second there. And all we have to do now is save it and run the program, and I'll show you how this works. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit enter to start, waiting one second, hit enter to start, one second. And it'll keep on doing that. Okay. There we go. It'll keep on doing that. You have to keep on hitting enter. It'll wait one second and then it'll print out that message. So there you go. Bob's your uncle and Fanny is your auntie. I hope you enjoyed that. And remember, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button below. And I'll catch you in another video. Bye-bye. Thank you.